Yeah, I, I think that um, it's, like, it's like anything else. You, you know, hopefully you get what you stress. And um, we, we did. We emphasized the run game uh, for the last two weeks, coming off the ball and punching guys. And, and as far as the running backs go, finishing runs and being a little more physical and, and things like that. And, and um, yeah, it showed up. So it was good. Tony, when, when Mike has a game like he did, did a lot of good things with the football in his hands and also let it slip out a couple times. What are the conversations like between the two of you when you try and emphasize that ball security moving forward? Well, I mean, it's not like he doesn't know. Yeah. So it's not it's not new. And, 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 and it's not reinventing the wheel. It's again, we, we, we've got uh, we got a job to do. And first and foremost is to take care of the ball, and um, then everything else after that can can come. But but uh, so yeah, we 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 we've discussed it. We've we've dealt with it. Um, we'll continue to deal with it and continue to stress it. And you know. Um, if the ball's on the ground that many times, I guess I gotta look at myself too and say, what am I not doing? Because obviously the message wasn't delivered enough. And, and so, um, so we'll, we'll, that's something we will do. We will continue to work on. Is there a line? Because it's like you guys have been emphasizing to go make something happen, push it to the limit to try and break back and get extra yardage. I mean, does sometimes that happen no. if you're trying to push it? Or no. Not acceptable. I was a my dad told me that once. So, well, you know, it happens. And, and I remember I looked at him and I said, why? Why do you have to lose? Well, you have to lose in order to, to build character? No, I think you can build character by winning. Do you have to fumble? No. Can you still run a guy over and break tackles and do that without fumbling? Absolutely. And that's what you're supposed to do. So that's what we're going to continue to work to do. What is the sense that y'all have <clears throat> hit on something with the running game? Obviously, last year against Michigan State, they came in, I think, were <clears throat> Wherever they were, really highly ranked in the country, right. run defense, and y'all ran right through them for one of another turn. <laughs> Mike had a career day. Right. What is the sense y'all have hit on something now, Tony, that well, you I, carry I, through? Well, I hope it's just, um, you know, now it's about being consistent yeah. and um, looking into what got you to this point and then how do we improve on it and enhance it and, and um, continue to work work towards that and, and uh, seeing that, you know, the fruits of your labor come to fruition. And, and, Continue to work towards that. But it seemed like it seemed like people had to pep in their step coming out of that game Saturday was the fact y'all just lined up and kind of ran, yeah. <laughs> ran the ball. I mean there was no uh, way we, we understood there were no RPOs called. Uh, well, that's not that's that's not. That's probably I didn't figure it was, yeah, but you know that, that, that was the right, right, that was the unofficial that was, that was the right, exit poll. Right, right, right. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but there was a sense that y'all lined up for the most part and got physical. Yeah, we did. But again, we we stressed that in, you know inside periods and, and uh, nine on seven and team periods and. and did. We stress those things, and um, so we're like, look, this is what we're going to go do. And mm -hmm. if we didn't like it, we did it. And we're going to do it again and again and again. And this is exactly how it's going to look. And, and um, if it doesn't, we're, we're going to do it again until we get the way we want it. And, and, and those guys respond. Our players really responded to that. And, so it's got to keep going. Hey, Tony, what do you like about that jumbo package that we saw? When you get Wyatt Davis in there and a couple of tight ends. And big bodies. Big bodies that can move people, hopefully. And, uh, but everyone's got a job to do. Just at the end of the day, just go do your job. Was that what are those conversations like? Urban talked about you know, the long hours during the off days and trying to come up with schemes, and that seems to be a, a product of that. Was that? But again, yeah, it is a product of that. But again, it goes back to go do your job. Players line up. At, at the end of the day, football is it's me against you. At some junctures, me against that guy. Go do your job. I said, go do your job. J.K. Mike whomever it is, don't let that guy tackle you. Sadness. Let's not make this harder than what it is. And again, we can talk about schemes and footwork and hand placement and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, I have to beat you. That's what it comes down to. You were a running back of repute, and, uh, and then you've been, a, you've, been a, you've been a coach for a long time. What does it do for a football team to refine its running game? To well, I think it, it's, this is, this is a, um, it's a, it's a physical sport, right? a physical deal and I think when you just start taking it and pounding it pounding the rock and pounding the rock eventually um, you can break a person's will doing that now. Mm -hmm. and, um, but again that's that's a mentality. Hey Tony I know that the offensive linemen aren't necessarily really fond of RPOs because they don't know what the backfield action is. Is there something about an RPO that makes the life of a running back more difficult? Is their job all that different on an RPO play as opposed no, no. to a traditional? No. 
Yeah. So, I mean, it's a quarterback pulls it and throws it, pulls it and throws it. He hands it to you, keep running, go, go do your job. What does putting those guys in the pistol do for him? Does that help out? Oh, let's them run downhill a little more and the game a little more velocity. You know, versus three, four yards away from the line of scrimmage, four and a half, five yards away from the line of scrimmage, going sideways and then having to put your foot in the ground and, and at a 90 degree turn versus I'm going to put you seven and a half yards deep in the shit, so smoking it downhill. So it allows the guy to have a little more velocity that way. With the RPOs, you guys went from being pretty RPO heavy to the last game, and Urban talked about this, to not really using many RPOs. That was a pretty big sea change for you guys. Can you just kind of discuss well, I that think a little a lot, bit? I think a lot of it's schematics, you know, who you're playing and what the scheme is, and, and uh, you know, matchups and things like that. Just things that we got to go do. And, and um, again, we need it. We, we do. We, we, Ohio State's known for you know, the physical program. And not from one year to the next, but through the course of time. And um, you know, we're, we're, we're never slumping back. Do you feel like this new scheme, though, is what's going to work? New scheme? With the, 